on a bright, relatively warm Sunday evening. I'm off now for a bit of a bimble, heading out towards West Exmoor to a place called Clatsworthy Reservoir and Dam. I'm hoping I might be able to get the drone up and get some footage when I get there. But Google Maps has been telling me that the dam might be shut. If it is, as long as I can still get access to the reservoir, I should be able to hopefully get some good footage. Also, hopefully, a good ride over there. This is my first time out where we're fairly distant ride since I came back from the ABR. I've done a few short ones to the local bike nights and out with a few friends to Glastonbury last night but no major ride. This is the first one. I haven't exactly had the weather to be able to get out for starters. That's because of What's happening at home, I'm limited as well on the time I can get out. I'm guessing all these are parked up here. They're in the West India race for the football later. It's one of the reasons I chose to come out tonight. I was hoping the roads was going to be quieter but they certainly don't seem to be at the moment. <clears throat> we'll be where I'm heading. I'm still in town at the moment. And this is my first time out. I've got the remote for me Ace Pro. So I'm testing that today to see how it goes. I don't think I've switched on I don't think I've activated where it puts up the GPS and lean angles and speeds and routes and everything, which you can do. I've got it mainly to make it easier to turn off and on. I know the route this is taking me at the moment. I went out this way before the ABR but I cut the route short because of the time got a bit more time to date so I'm definitely heading out towards the reservoir if I can't get to the dam the dam's on the reservoir anyway I just might not be able to go out on it right let's head out up over the top of the Quantox I should just keep recording now until I get there. I'll just be editing a lot of it out. So I know now after the ABR, watching Richie's talk, that's how he does it. I know a lot of them tend to stop and start. I've always done it where I, I just switch the camera on and keep it recording until I stop. And then just edit it out. It depends on the type of ride on doing that. If I was heading somewhere and it's motorway, then yeah, I'd turn off. I wouldn't keep it going. And hopefully the mount's going to stay on. My helmet mount, it fell off when I got to the ABI. I was lucky I never lost the camera. And that was a pretty good weekend. So, saw Richie's talk. Saw TMF's talk. Bumped into Faye and Sean from Tins on Tour. Peaky Binder, bumped in the whim. And a few of the Motor Rev gang. Start climbing in a minute, up over the top of the Quantox. We go up, up, up to one of the highest points. Just nice to be out on the bike while we got the weather. So I'm heading out to Exmoor, my destination. West Exmoor 
Looks like they're going in the tent arms on oh, no, next door. That was a young driver, so. The car behind me's pulled off as well. Might have a more or less empty road. No! Nope. Up over here, because it's normally quiet anyway. I'm right, going to start climbing. Going up, up, up. This road can be a bit dodgy, you have got to watch it. People who use it all the time can get complacent. On speed, cutting corners. Well, it says national, but it's not safe to do it. See, the road's not that wide. All the bushes are very thick and lush with leaves this time of year. So you can't see up ahead like you can in the winter months. You get a better view. So ride to your view and adjust your speed accordingly. Taking it steady and makes it an enjoyable ride. Oh, right, this bit, I've got a bit more of a view. bit more of a view on this bit. It says next right, but in theory you're just following the road round. Three miles on here. Still climbing at the moment, but I start dropping down in a minute. It's starting to go down. Some nice roads to go on in a minute. Coming into Bishop's Lydiard in a minute, just over a mile. So we like empty roads. Coming in the outskirts of Bishop's Lydiard. This takes me up to the 358 in a minute. I'm only on there briefly. Because I think I should have bought me sunglasses. I don't think I would need them. There was a fair bit of cloud about when I left, but it's all melted away. Well, that's where that Cedar Falls is. I've often seen the turn in here for it, but I didn't realise it was only just there. And then turning left up here. Eight miles on here. I might have to put my sun visor down a little bit. Make a bit of pace on this section. Better in a bit of shade. Sun's proving to be a bit problematic. in about another 18 minutes so that's not too bad look here a lot of bloody potholes you know this could be a busy road it's a B road so it doesn't get treated the same no, this is a bit more like it though on this stretch you can make a bit of pace because the road's that little bit wider The last time I come out here I turned right down here because I changed my plan. Today it's straight on. I might go that way coming back the way I went last time, head towards Watch It in the A39. But I won't be going in to watch it this time if I do. I'll be there for just before eight. It's turning a bit cooler. I think that's because of where I am. Up over Exmoor now, West Exmoor. Turning left for just over a mile. Sun's starting to get it to the stage now, it's been a bit of a nuisance.
No on a road I've never done before. Watch the speed as well, it's not that wide a road. Not wide, I've never done it before. Don't know whether it's a busy road or not. It probably isn't. You probably only have residents of the village come down here, I would have thought. At least the sun's not an issue now. This is on the sort of roads I like doing. Proper back roads of Somerset. it in case I come across a tractor. There is a chance that could happen. That has opened up a little bit, but probably only briefly. Going down now after climbing. Reservoir viewing site, that's what I want. So I'll park up there and then probably maybe walk down to the dam. And then I might not bother with the dam, I just do the reservoir. Going back, I might go via with a Liscum. It's only three miles from here back there turning right. I've enjoyed this, it's been a nice ride out. I'm guessing there's going to be a car park of some sort here. Oh, I'm coming into the village. No public access. Ah. I won't be going up there then. I'm going to have to try and find another way of getting to it. If it says no public access, I ain't going up there. So this might have been a waste of time then. I can see the right wall on there. I'm not going to try and turn round. Just keep reversing back. Just got to go careful because I'm on a slope. Use me brakes. Get over here a bit. I was getting too close to that grass. What's this? Because it's starting to go away from me. Starting to go uphill a bit now. Whew. See if I can find anything down here. I'm all steamed up. There was a side up there for a viewing platform. I'm knackered after that. Best wagon collapse for a view. It's up there then. Let's have a look. There's a picnic area up there. Shut. Right, I won't be going in there then.
it was saying it might be. I might as well head back. I'll head down that way a little bit farther, but I don't think I'm going to get in.